Hey guys, it's Kelsey here again, and today I'm going to show with you another one of these index cards that I'm doing um, for the index card today, which I'm not really doing an index card today. I'm just kind of playing with um, some mixed media and playing with some of my new stuff and working on techniques, so it's just kind of a a way to play around with my supplies, basically. And I'm just using an index card because it's cheap and it's a perfect size to play around with things. Um, so first off, I've stamped the little hummingbird from the Orakami stamp set that I got recently from Altenew. And I really love that stamp, the whole stamp set, but I thought this little bird was super cute. Um, so I basically just um, stamped it with some Versamark and I went ahead and um, heat set that with my heat tool. And then I've got four different colors of Distress Ink here. Um, I think it's Evergreen Bough, Broken China, Peacock Feathers, and um, Seedless Preserves. And I'm just running the color all around the page. And I did get one of these new round Distress Ink tools from Tim Holtz. And I have to agree, I do like the round ones better. I've heard a lot of people say the square ones give harsher lines. Um, and that they liked the round ones better, and I do really like the round ones. And I thought it was a really good price. I think for less than $8, I got two rounders, and they came with four pads. So I need to get some more pads, but basically I just use, um, for now, one pad for, like, all the different blues, and then, like, one for all the yellow colors, and one for the pink colors, and then um, one for purple. And I kind of wanted to go in there and edge the edge of that card with the seedless preserves but instead I decided to go ahead and go in with the blender and just kind of put that on there and like I said this is just a way to play with the distress inks play with your stamps um, just play with some different techniques and I've really enjoyed doing these little index cards even if you're not into mixed media um, you could cut down a 4 by 6 card and do it um, play around with some of your stuff and make some filler cards for your project life um, so you could do a lot of different things so I didn't really know what else I wanted to do on this layout um, like I said I just pull usually whatever's new to me <laughs> but here I've got one of those Heidi Swap stencils and I'm deciding what do I want to use with it I also got some of these Bow Bunny stamps and I got them from a garage sale in my hometown um, so they were only three dollars a piece so I was so excited to get them and I loved all the shapes and stuff because I felt like they really were kind of mixed media shapes if that makes sense um, so I did end up decide I decided to go with that in the end and use one of those stamps and I just stamped it in some of that seedless preserves ink or maybe it was blue. I can't even remember, guys. This is so horrible. It is one of the blue colors. And it doesn't add a lot onto the page, but it adds just enough that you it just adds a little bit something extra. So here is my enamel dot collection. Don't judge me. <laughs> I have so many enamel dots, and I just love playing with them. I love all the colors. They just look so pretty. But I was trying to find a good color to put on here. And I really like purple. So I've been trying to find some purples. And then I went in with some of the blue colored dots too. And that's one thing I love about enamel dots is you can mix and match different colors and different brands. And it doesn't matter because even though the sizes are a little bit off, it just you can play around with them and do whatever you want with them. And I haven't been pulling my enamel dots out as much lately, so I've been trying to use more of them. So, I just kind of put some around the page, just kind of sprinkled them on, and I love the way that turned out. And in real life, the I felt like the white hummingbirds like stood out a little bit more. Um, I usually put a picture up on my blog, so if you do want to see um, a picture of the still, like a still photo of the project, you can check it out over on my blog. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm kind of tongue-tied here. But I have some of these little wood veneer letters, and I apologize, I don't know where they came from. Probably a Studio Calico kit, I would guess. Maybe I ordered them from like two peas in a bucket, but I just store them in that plastic bag, and I keep them off to the side. And so I put those on 
with a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And they went on really well. They stuck really well. Um, my only problem is I hate the way it turned out. <laughs> I love the way the wood veneer looks, but I don't like the way the whole title turned out. I just decided to spell out spread your wings. Um, and I don't like the way the handwriting looks with the wood veneer. And I tried to like find another way to use it. I didn't want to spell it all out with wood veneer and I just wish that I would have. Um, so this is why you just experiment and play around and <laughs> I know for next time that I don't like that mixed look. That maybe next time I would pull out some stickers or something or just spell it all out with different um, wood veneer letters. <laughs> And those letters, actually, I accidentally spilled some glue onto my craft mat, and it was actually a lot easier to just dip the wood veneer into the into the um, glue instead of trying to work around it. So here, like I said, I'm trying to pull stuff from my stash, seeing if like a little tag would work or a label or something, but nothing really works that great. And in the end, I just give up, and um, I just decide it's good like it is so thanks so much for watching guys um i really appreciate it make sure to hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys again really soon bye